Have you ever heard that my quiver is full? <laughs> Look at these girls in our family. I am so excited that they are wonderful girls, that they are in school, that they love each other. And we have family get togethers very, very often. You see, I used to do dinner every Sunday for my family. But in 1995, I couldn't do it anymore because of my health problems. But guess what? That still doesn't stop us. Every chance we get, every holiday, and we will make days be holidays, we want them to be holidays. It might be after church, it may be at a club, it may be at the swimming pool. Wherever it is, we make time for each other. Yes, we have more girls in the, in the family than we do boys. We've got about six boys in the family. You know, my grandson and, and his brother and his boys. But these girls get together all the time. If they don't go to one another's houses and get together, they'll come to somebody else's house like mine. This is one of the reasons I have the Grandmother Summits, because I have these girls over here and I ask them questions and they ask me questions and we talk about everything. Nothing is off limits, but it always ends up with a prayer and a scripture and a divine lesson. Isn't that what love is all about? Asking questions, seeking information, loving each other, barging in sometimes when you're not invited. <laughs> but it's okay because this is what generation love is all about. It's a divine explosion, invited or uninvited, <laughs> of love for one another. These girls are precious to me. I love them.